Hello, my friends. You're all American patriots on this channel. What a wonderful audience this is. I'm an American patriot. I'm your Tom, friend Tom with Weapons Education. In this video, we're going to talk about the fact that at the timing of this video, our price is going up. Yes, inflation's through the roof. In our industry, the firearm industry, products are harder to come by. I'm going to talk about small revolvers. In particular, the J-Frame Smith & Wesson, the Ruger LCR, small little powerful 357 Magnums that range from 13 and a half ounces to 17 ounces. A pound. That's it. Can you find them now? About a year ago, I told people, two years ago, get yourself a J-Frame. Get yourself a 357 Magnum. You'll find a bunch of them out there in 38 Special right now. But will you find one in 357? If you do, grab it. Look at these online auctions. Grab it. I'm going to show you two of my J-Frames. I've uh, my friend Josh is here. Josh, please zoom in. We have a 340 MP for Military and Police Performance Center. Now, when you're going to buy a small J frame, we'll stick with Smith & Wesson for a moment as we look at this. You're going to want to probably get the most expensive one you can find because it's only going to go up in value and you can use it, let's say, for 10 years and sell it for more than what you paid for it because prices are doing nothing but going up. If you can get the Scandium 357 like this one in the Performance Center, you've really got a bargain because the Scandium frame is so lightweight at 13 and a half ounces and it's as strong as steel. So I'm trying to influence you to think about a small pocket Revolver. It's great for the ankle. I'm going to show you uh, an ankle holster here. I'm developing. It's not finished. But more importantly, uh, the other small J frame I have is a 640 3. These both have internal hammers. This one solid steel, the whole frame. The other one was, was scandium frame. We're looking at about 17 ounces, just over a hair, over a pound unloaded. These things are, you don't even know you have them with you. Gals, um, you can take a look up, up at me now, please, for a moment. And uh, gals, this is a great, a great weapon for you to carry. Whether you put a 357 mag, a full load in there, or you shoot the 38 Special out of it, and uh, the lower cost, you can shoot at the range. But try to find a 357 Magnum J-Frame right now. I hope you do. I'm sure a lot of you in the comments will say, I found one somewhere online or some gun shop somewhere. I hope so. And if you do, grab it. Because I'm telling you, in 6, 8, 9, 12 months from now, or 3 months from now, they're going to be pretty much impossible to get. And when, when there's a demand for something so high, for something like these, uh, because they're obsolete and impossible to get, the price is going to go up. So you can use the gun for, say, 10 years and sell it for more than what you paid for it a decade ago, and you could have carried it for 10 years. With that said, I want to talk more about the... 340 up close in my hand. I have it without the grip here to zoom in there again without the grip. It's it's kind of cool looking without the grip and it's got a internal hammer. I would try to find an internal hammer small whether it's Ruger uh, LCR or Smith & Wesson you got the 640, they have other models, look on their website, but make sure it can carry the load of the 357 Magnum. You'll see a lot of 38 specials for sale, but will you see 
the 357 Magnum available. Okay, let me put this pistol back together, this revolver, and we'll talk a little bit more. So, let's talk about the J-Frame Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum. I hope you can find one. And this has an internal hammer and the performance center when this th this is true for all Smith & Wessons get a performance center a couple of reasons first of all it's a better gun than the non-performance center and I'll show you here in a second as far as the trigger and other functions of the gun second of all it's warranted for life no matter who owns it no questions asked you send it into Smith, they send you back a brand new gun all refurbished. That is, is awesome. That makes your gun more, worth more money in the future. But guys, tell your girls about carrying a, a small J-frame. I carry this on my ankle. I'm going to talk about the holster here more, more in a moment. But with this Scandium frame, if you can find a 340 Military and Police MP, they don't make this exact one no more, but at the time of this video, I saw they, that they do make a Scandium frame, J-frame 357 Magnum. If you can find it somewhere out there for sale, I'm not saying it's in stock, I'm saying to buy it because it's such a great gun to carry on your ankle, in a shirt, in your suit jacket, I mean, any little pocket, anywhere. And it's so light, you don't even know you have it. It's always with you. And it's a 357 Magnum. Now here's the performance center trigger. Safety, safety check. Oh, this one's got the Crimson Trace. MMP with the laser. This is really trick. Scandium frame. Now when you close a revolver, you want to close it with the crane like this. Nice. And then click it. So it's nice and tight, all right? Now, the trigger. Zoom in here, please, Josh. When you pull this trigger, it does not feel like a double action trigger. It is so smooth. Now, this is the 640-3, all steel. I can already tell it's a little bit more weight, but not much. But the trigger, safety check gun, close it by the crane, tighten up. See, I can tell the, uh, the cylinder's not as tight as the performance center. It moves just a little bit, that's okay. The trigger's not the same, it's a lot harder to pull. And when you're gonna do four or five in a row, these hold five rounds each, which is a lot of power in 357 Magnum. You can reload them with a speed loader, or you can reload them with these Bianchi speed strips real quick. The point of this video is get yourself a small, either LCR from Ruger. In 357, you can also shoot your 38 specials. And this is how I carry it. This is not finished. Uh, this I'm, I'm designing a new ankle holster, which has the, the, the sheepskin on the inside, so on your ankle it's very comfortable and it won't sweat. Military grade Velcro, and what I'm doing is I'm changing, this goes over your calf, so it keeps it all from spinning all around, it's more stable, I thought of this. But I want some more leather, I'm a, such a leather guy, and just leave an inch of, of this scuba type spandex so you still have the, the room to, to pull it. But I want more leather on here. So if you're interested in getting a, the top grade ankle holster for, for any for any gun in the world, whether it's got a laser, whether it's got, or, or a shoulder holster for that matter. You know, I'm a shoulder holster guy. I'm wearing a 1911 right here. Which guy got the Kimber now? Yeah. yeah this is a Kimber 1911. We're talking guns, guys. Let's talk guns. Look at that, okay? And this is the this is really nice. Well, I'm 
hold it here. The stainless steel, the stainless Pro Raptor 2, stainless Pro Raptor 2. Yeah, that's a beauty 1911. But see, this does not attach to a belt, the shoulder holster. It just goes on, it's got a lower back strap, and you're good to go. And very comfortable, very wide on your shoulders. And this is all weapons education holsters to support the channel. That's, that's you know, I, I'm not the type of guy that is telling you to go here, there, and everywhere to buy stuff. But I would like you to support the channel by going to my custom leather holster shop because I am the, the highest quality leather holster factory in the nation. I know that, bar none, because no one pays for the leather I do. Said enough. And if you want an ankle holster for a small revolver that we're speaking about, you just call 954-804-4381. 954-804-4381 WeaponsEducationHolsters.com and for safes, I might as well say WeaponsEducationSafes.com but we're talking about these revolvers really please buy one now because it's a good investment so everyone's going to say well what's the cost of the ammo? Ammo is not cheap it's not cheap and you need a thousand rounds per per pistol I've always said that uh, Besides all the self-defense ammo you need, so it's it's a pricey investment. But you know, I live here in South Florida by the ocean, and I do not own a boat for a specific reason. Because I'd rather go on my friends' boats, and I do. <laughs> and I see the money they spend, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, four or five hundred thousand dollars on these boats. With these, they got this new Mercury six hundred horsepower, uh, twelve. 12 cylinder outboard and a buddy of mine's got one of those and the engine alone was 80 grand so we we think our hobby is expensive our hobby will save our life and this stuff uh, it goes up in value as boats go down so I use my friends boats I don't buy boats so get yourself a small J frame size revolver in 357 Magnum a little snobby. These are about two inches. Okay, one and three quarter, two, two and a quarter inches, maybe three even three inches. Let me know if you find one on 357 Magnum. They're rare right now. That's that's what I'm trying to let you know. They're rare right now. You'll find them in 38 Special all over the place. But let me know if you find them in 357 Magnum, and hopefully you pick one up. Because I'm telling you, if you do, you'll be happy. You'll be happy with the gun. You'll be happy carrying it. You can put it on your ankle. You can put it anywhere in your body. You put it in your pocket. Anywhere you want. Your gal can carry it perfect. And you can practice with the 38 specials. But get it in 357 Magnum because it's a better cylinder. It can take more of that concussion if it can handle the 357 Magnum. All right. I'm Tom from Weapons Education. Please thumb up the video. Please pass this along on all your Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. Facebook, please. I'm just here to try to help everybody out and give you tips. This is a financial tip, actually, where you can buy a gun and 10 years later sell for more than what you paid for it. You won't lose on one of these Smith & Wessons. And uh, get the Performance Center if you could. Lifetime warranty. And it's a better quality gun. I know they're pricey, but it's worth it. Thumbs up. Thank you all. Please comment below. What, what revolver do you have? And all revolvers. Thank you, my friends. I'll be back soon. Time checking out. Bye-bye.